What's up guys, Evan here from Throttle, and today I'm gonna to show you how to refinish your brake calipers the best and easiest way. In order to refinish your brake calipers, you're gonna need some black plastic bags, brake cleaner, acetone, some high temperature primer, paint, clear coat, steel wool, regular ratchet, masking tape, paper towel, and most importantly, a breakfast burrito. As with most car projects, the first thing I gotta do is crack the wheels loose, then jack the car out. That's much better, now I gotta take off the wheels. That's all done. So now we'll just kinda take a look, make sure I don't see any major issues. As you can see, these are the stock brake calipers. We put in some new OEM rotors and some Hawk HPS pads a couple months ago. I will put a card right up here. Go check out that video if you wanna learn how to do that. We really need to clean the brake calipers really well. There's a ton of grime and brake dust and whatever, and anything that's on there is gonna prevent the paint and the primer from sticking really well. So I'm gonna clean it with brake cleaner, the steel wool as you guys saw, finish it off with a little acetone. For now, that's good. Let's go on and do the rest. Because my brakes are still a little warm from driving, the brake cleaner is drying really fast, making it a little bit harder, but either way. One other really good way to clean the brake calipers before you paint them is just take an old toothbrush and use that to get into the tiny crevices. Now that the brake calipers are pretty clean, I'd say they're about 80% clean, it's time to mask off the car so we don't get overspray everywhere. Now there's a really easy trick that I picked up a couple years ago as I was doing this more often, and wanted to share with you guys. Basically all you need is a trash bag. Black plastic bag like this. Go ahead and open up the trash bag all the way. And you actually wanna Rip it apart at the seam so that it basically opens up even bigger. And take a razor blade and make like a two inch incision. Put this around your brake caliper and get it right seated up against where the rotor meets the caliper. Essentially what you want to do is stretch the garbage bag over the caliper, but not make such a big hole that there's a gap anywhere, okay? So I'm gonna start with the bottom. So as you can see, the garbage bag is now stretched over, and I just saved us a lot of time while masking. There's a couple little spots that you can fix, but it's a lot easier than having to try to mask I'm gonna mask off some additional areas, make sure that the bag is not touching the caliper. But remember that if you have a little bit, if you can see right here, there's a little bit of exposed on the rotor, that is all going to um, basically disappear as you step on the brakes for the first time. So as long as there's too, not too much paint on the rotor itself, you'll be fine. I'm gonna tape up the excess material on the fenders so that we don't get any overspray on it. Try to show you guys this one more time. You want to use the elasticity of the garbage bag to stretch around the brake calipers. There we go. Well, I just finished masking everything off. I want to show you guys what it looks like because this is really the most important step. Try to cover most of the car. That looks good. And then lastly, here. Before we go ahead and start with the primer, I'm gonna clean each brake caliper one more time, but I'm gonna use acetone with a clean sheet of paper towel on each corner. first coat should be super, super light. It's more often called a tack coat. You wait about five to 10 minutes 
and then you're ready for your real first coat. So next time you spray paint something, give that a try. I think you'll have much better results. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do two to three coats of primer. Make sure I have good coverage everywhere while waiting like five to 10 minutes in between each coat. Probably not gonna bore you guys with the footage too much for this, but I'll show you what it looks like right after this. Everything is nice and smooth. Don't see any bare spots or anything like that. So I think at this point right now, we're ready to paint the first coat. I went with a gloss yellow and I got the engine enamel with ceramic. Wistans heat up to 500 degrees. This may or may not be overkill, but you know what, I figured why not. I think the color is gonna look really good with the black wheels. So as I talked to you guys before, you wanna do very, very light coats. Do not overdo it. I promise you it'll make them come out better. So I'm gonna do one coat, wait about five minutes. I'll show you what that looks like, and then we'll come back and do two, three, four, probably five coats of the gloss enamel, followed by one to two coats of clear. And that's it for the first coat. This is coat number two. Coat number three. Beat me up, Scotty. Yeah. You can see as you start to lay more coats, you can actually lay them thicker and thicker each layer. So this is what it looks like after the third coat. You can see there's still a couple thin spots. So it looks like we'll probably have to put five to six coats to cover this caliper completely. Number five. Just drop new shit. So I'm on the phone trying to ask everybody who I am super stoked at how well these turned out. Check it out. Super, super glossy. No light spots, anything like that. We'll check out the other side here. I mean, these look awesome. I think just to protect the paint a little bit better, we'll toss on some uh, one or two coats of the clear coat here. This will just protect the paint a little bit more, hopefully prevent from you know getting the brake dust embedded into the paint, and then it'll make it easier to clean them. Coat number two, the clear coat, here we go. In about 30 to 45 minutes, I'm gonna carefully remove the garbage bags and the masking tape, and we'll see how it turned out. All right, the time has come to peel off the masking and see how this looks. And I should be able to pull it away just like that. And that's the finished product. I wanted to show you guys the finished project. I think it turned out awesome. My brothers, I won't let nothing touch us. Let you tell it would have been over with. Let you tell it I've been fading. Like I ain't shit unless I'm famous. But only if you like what you saw in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We have a ton more awesome content coming out, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Could have been terrified. Some of y'all can't breathe when the air rarefied. They say I should go and write a book like, what the hell my